Hello? Okay. Hi! I was not... Uh, yes, I am playing uh, Pokemon Dilf. Uh, not really. I, I don't know. Not really the type I go for. <laughs> it just looks very, uh, very average. Um, but yeah, hi everybody! How's it going? Uh, it's been a hot minute. I saw you. Dang. L. Um. Uh, your week. Great. Legendaries. Yeah, I uh, was looking for like a meme. Um. And I, that was like. I don't know. That's all I could find. I was like, okay, that's kind of cute. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what the heck happened. I had it all set. Hey, fish, get off. Um, I was...
happens every With my mic, uh, I was unplugging things and um, back some noise. Yeah, so I had a uh, coming geno kind of. Um, I mean, if it's that much of a problem, I otherwise I will. <laughs> it's not super uncomfortable Or low volume, okay. Um, okay. why it's so low volume. I took off everything, so... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. volume is 100%, so that's kind of strange. Um, I might have to... Who's in here? Give me one second. Okay. Sometimes that resets it. Maybe not. Um... The bottom of it? Is it? Uh, okay, well, I'll have to fix that up another time um, off stream because it's a little too much to kind of handle while I'm on stream at the moment. So better yet, what I'll do is I will just go ahead and uh, start the game. It is 100% in OBS right now, but sometimes I have to restart OBS for everything to take effect again. I can turn it past 100, so maybe if I do that, It'll, uh, do a little bit better. Oh, that's too much. Okay, how about, is that better? I, I see it peaking a little bit more. Way better? Okay, perfect. So I'll keep it there. I turned up my mic a lot more. Um, hopefully you can hear me a little bit better here. I'll turn down the music. Chris jump scare, sorry. <laughs> um, shit, okay. Let's see. It is kind of... I, I had my chat box all fixed up the other day. I don't know exactly what happened here. Um... There we 
There we go. Eh. That's good enough for now. Something, uh, some of the settings just got reset for some reason. So that's, that's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, it's already all trimmed all the way. It's probably the setting in the actual, um, thing that I have to do. I... Hello? Okay, I'm back. I, weird, I haven't had any USB issues. Hello, hello? Okay, this is... I think this USB might work a little bit better here. Um, that was weird. So, it might be one of the USB ports is going out on my, uh, computer, which is not great. But, you know, at least I got the issue fixed, and here we are again. <laughs> hello! Alright. It doesn't go out. Seems to be steady now. 
Awesome, thank you. All right, so let's see what I'm gonna pick here. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> you all are too sweet. Too sweet to me. <laughs> well, it's hopefully the mic will stay working. Ah, should I do Chris or Sai? I don't know, whatever. I'll just do Chris. Fuck it. All right. What should I get? Oh, uh, okay. I can't. Uh, a bowl cut. No! <laughs> um... What is this supposed to be? That's not a symmetrical bob. What the fuck? What are these hairstyles? That's cute. Uh, right? Uh, okay, that looks more like my haircut right now. Uh, yeah. Oh, can I change color? Yes. Um, I could do black. That's kind of boring. You know what I was just thinking? I was thinking, is there like a Pokemon Lavender? Because like a Pokemon Lavender would be, I had to slick back before I clipped it. <laughs> would be so, like, would be so much nicer than Pokemon Violet. Like, Lavender is like a flower. It smells great. Ooh, that's pretty. Ash white. It isn't really silver. I always loved like the silver hair look. Um, I tried getting my hair, like, dyed, like, silver one time, and it did not come out great. Blue-green. Oh, I love that. I miss when my hair was this color. Because of Lavender Town? Okay, but literally that makes it so much better because of Lavender Town. I grow lavender in my garden and plan to make candles. Oh my god, that would be so awesome, King! And then you, you can even make, um, like, tea and stuff out of it. I love lavender. I've tried going, uh... Well, executed silver, so attractive silver fox for us. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, I tried growing lavender, and it is so fucking hard. Like, I'm always having, like, the biggest fucking problem. Like, I'll, I'll have it grow a little bit, it'll start sprouting, and then it'll just fucking die on me. Lavender is so just temperamental. Um, I really do like the white look. I really do. Let's see, let's see. If I change blue, I'll do silver. I already did one silver streak rogue style. Oh, that's so sick. Love that. Love that. Um, yeah, I really... I don't know. I just, like... I wish you can do, like, double colors where, like, you can do, like, black and silver and stuff. I like... I like this light denim blue. That's pretty. Oh, there's so many colors I want to try. <laughs> like, lavender is cute. Despite... You'll have to... Re You'll have to rebrand to Silver Sapphic. <laughs> that that kind of rolls right off your tongue. Uh, despite being someone who had little interest, I'm actually quite proud of my gardens full of herbs, tomatoes, and wildflowers for bees. Oh, that is so cool! You'll have to um, you'll have to take pictures. I love gardens. I love seeing um people's gardens and stuff. I can't wait to start mine again. <laughs> I love seeing frogs. They're so cute. We always get a bunch of frogs. I'm gonna go with this blue. I am really digging this blue here. Okay, let's confirm. Um, yes. Oh, nice! Awesome! Change look, ready. Is that it? Okay. Not me having to rebrand every time I change my hair color. <laughs> you can change your language or name after starting the game. Um, this is fine.
and change the look. <laughs> oh, oh, you can change the look? Oh, well, um, I'm pretty sure I can do it in game, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> Haley Williams, orange sapphic. <laughs> Oh. There's my girl. Yeah. I keep forgetting I have to actually press A for it to continue. Uh, it is also, of course, home to mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. Uh, they reside here in great numbers, in fact. I need to change the hair at the salon too. Cool. Awesome. Good to know. Nimona is my game girlfriend. Love her. <laughs> I love her, like, attitude and everything. She's fucking great. <laughs> Uh, Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. Oh, for like the free stuff? Oh no! That means I'm gonna have to pay for everything else. You can change between any of the four school uniforms by pressing left. Okay, cool. Eva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. <laughs> but it's not straight. <laughs> That is Pokemon trainers that have their Pokemon be battled growing alongside them. Okay, but like that goth chick on the left <laughs> with the Mistruvius? That'd be me. <laughs> Emo Taurus, my beloved. I found a couple older pics and we'll post. Oh, hell yeah, King. Just go ahead and post them. Pokemon Violet. With the Yu-Gi-Oh sleeve. We're all weak for Goss. Everybody's weak for Goss. <laughs> now I'm kind of sad I didn't, like, put my hair as black in the game, but I feel like... I don't know. I already have black hair, so... I wanted to try something different. <laughs> okay, but I loved late like Pokemon for Pokemon Violet, so hell yeah. Me handshake meow. Pokemon Violet. <laughs> the fucking purple false hope fish. Oh my god, that fucking kills me every time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was like, did the game stop working? <laughs> now saving. Look at that gay motherfucker. All right, now saving. Today on Sweet Odd Adventures. <laughs> Sweet Odd Adventures, I like that, that's funny. Sweet Odd in the Spanish Moon City. We'll see Mesa Gosa, and it's uh, home to Walmart Academy. Oops, better get going. There's a little switch, ah. It's got a bigger screen, ah, oh, fuck. Your mom built these shelves herself, they're nearly Neatly decorated with your belongings. Damn! Go, Mom. Your soft, spluffy bed. It's got a lovely sun warm scent. <laughs> oh, look, is that like a little drift bloom? Oh, that's so cute. Pokemon stickers. I love that. <laughs> Yeah, I heard a lot of people love the sexy cave woman professor. 
<laughs> yes, I splurged and got the OLED in this universe. <laughs> Muncha. I like its little Taurus boxes. You. I feel like mom just decorated with whatever and just threw everything. I was like, okay, this works. Miho, good morning. Oh, already in your uniform and everything? Well, it's your first day at new school after all. I'm so excited for you. Still, you might want to cool your engines before you go racing out the door. No, I don't want to stay. Let's go. Oh. Ding dong. Let's get that door, would you? Ugh, I guess, mom. Is it just this door? Oh, oh, at least in the vegetable garden. How cute. I want to see it. Where's the other door? Is it over here? Can I run? No, I can't run. What the heck? Do you forgive the intrusion. Who are you? This dude is like styling. Look at his Pokeballs. I am the director of Uva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavel. Director, you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. Damn, calling me a failure already? So here are the last enrollment documents. They should have already been delivered to you. Motherfucker has six premiere balls. What the fuck? How lewd, he can't just tell us to look at his balls. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Somebody's just gonna like fucking clip that and it's gonna be like, uh, Chris told everybody to look at this guy's balls. <laughs> okay, you need your bag and your hat as well. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Damn, your dad is like non-existent in all these fucking games. <laughs> My cunt. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's so funny. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> what about my cock? <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> I look so styled. I love it. Uh, X button to open the main adventure. Select save option from this menu to save all progress. I think your dad appears in Gen 3. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, your dad is the gym leader. With a uh, fucking... A Pokemon is a very dadless series. <laughs> Can't really. Oh, ouch. Um, but yeah, your your dad has that fucking slacking that fucking kills you. Oh my god, I remember fighting that shit. And it was so fucking hard. You're not quite ready to go to school yet. God damn, I don't want to go to school. Fuck school. Can I just like not go to school and like fight Pokemon and gym leaders and shit? I don't want to fucking go to school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the uniform of our, of our our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I've something else for you, Master Chris. The most important thing, but your living room is hardly a place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out, and shall we? I'm a, I like my little tie. It's so cute. Oh, the house looks very adorable. That's like my dream home right there. Right then, dear Pokemon, time to come out of your Pokeballs. All right, before I pick a Pokemon, what do y'all think that I'm going to be choosing? It's 
Sprigatito, the grass cat Pokemon. Oh, that's so cute. Weed cat, <laughs> Fakoko, the fire croc Pokemon. <laughs> And Quaxly, the duck Pokemon. <laughs> They're all very good company. Why, they usually refuse to even leave my side. <laughs> He's just a dumb wee cunt. <laughs> Love that for him. <laughs> Damn, look at that fucking mansion over there. I like how there's just like squash growing. Like just randomly out and about. Oh, this town is so pretty. Why can't I live here? I bet Fococo tastes delicious. No, <laughs> don't eat him. <laughs> how could you do that? What I get? You obtained the Rotom Bone. Okay. Pokemon that will fucking chomp you. Head to the house down way. Coco when he gets you. <laughs> Are they just all following me? That's so cute. Um, what? What do they do? I can't run, huh? God, I'm moving so slow. Okay. Whatever. I don't care. I don't want to read. Um, Quaxley is the best choice if you ever wanna if you ever wanna go see RuPaul's drag race live. <laughs> I don't know any of the uh title forms. Hmm. Look at these little dumb fucks. <laughs> I love them. Oh, I can finally run! About fucking die. <laughs> the power of science. The power of science is amazing. You can connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together up to four at a time. I made the mistake of walking around my house before you could run. Oh. <laughs> Why does it like not let you run right away? That's so weird. Damn, look at that house. <laughs> these Pokemon just chilling, Chris. Look at these little dumb fucks. <laughs> oh, he's washing his face and his hair. Oh, he's just out there smelling flowers. So cute. Oh, he's eating like a peach. He burnt it. What a dumb ass. <laughs> What are you doing? You set it on fire! I like how you just grabbed it and took a look at it anyway. Oh shit, that's cool. No brain in there. Look at this fucking just eating straight up ash. <laughs> he drops it! <laughs> Buenas. We haven't met, have we? He's absolutely stupid. I love him. <laughs> I must say, I wasn't quite—I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Hang on, director. Is this who I think it is? Yes, this is our academy's newest student, Master Chris. He will be attending as of today. So you're the kid who moved up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. 
I'm Nimona. Normally, I live in the dor school dorms, but home is here. What'd you say, new neighbor? But, uh, wanna be friends? No. Huh? What's wrong? Did I scare you off? Maybe I come on a little strong. <laughs> I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, you should battle right now. You and me. Uh, I don't have a Pokemon at this moment. Alright, who am I gonna decide? Have you decided which what which of these Pokemon you would like to be your first partner? Yes. <laughs> Playing the dark map already. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck the hell. Um, okay, I'm gonna name him something. What what should I name him? <laughs> I don't know what to name him. Uh I like how Fococo uh, looks like he has a wee butter pads on him. <laughs> um Goober. Okay, I'll take that. He's a little goober. Nope, oh, wrong one. There we go. Fug and Coco. Oh, <laughs> just a little too late. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to obviously name one. When a match, they get Fug and Goobed on. <laughs> I'll have to name one Fugger, Sugger, Chugger. <laughs> But Coco seems to have taken quite a liking, liking to you, Master Chris. Uh, this is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. No, I'm gonna kick the shit out of him. Come on, you little shithead, let's go. Chris, I can't believe you actually chose Foot Coco. As opposed to what? I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. The fuck do you know, bitch? I just met you! Not back then. No, I had other Pokemon I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Chris while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Chris here, I shall be more than happy to allow it. Yes! Since Chris chose Fuecoco, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. Spur. I like her bag. How come I get this, like, brown one, and she gets, like, the cool, like, single strap one? It's all sporty and shit. A tad fond of Pokemon battling. Yeah, no shit. Alright. Battle. Okay, let's fucking battle. <laughs> I don't like people that get like super like personal and close like super like fast like it makes me very like worry about them like for somebody to be like oh my god I just know that you know I don't know it's just like too close too quick you must uh be level five to be able to associate with me I don't know so you re <laughs> you ready to battle me Chris sure no <laughs> right yeah it was just like all of a sudden oh yeah we're besties now and i'm like uh i don't even know you <laughs> like it takes like a three to five business days for us to become level one of our friendship <laughs> And to unlock my uh, trauma past, you're gonna have to, like my traumatic past, you're gonna have to reach level 50. <laughs> you need tokens to get all this right. <laughs> all right, let's go, Goober. Let's burn this bitch up. 
I kick your ass. <laughs> it's obviously you gum pure lime. <laughs> uh, I'll take fruit punch. I'm surprised you get started off with Ember right away. I'm so used to just like doing scratch for like five times in a row. <laughs> Are you a cop? Oh my god. No, I just always call it by the name because every time I... <laughs> oh, you were talking about Meow. There's like three green ones. It's true. Hmm. Just one more battle. I'll beat you again, bitch! <laughs> yeah, Pokemon's like, no longer do you need to scratch away to winning. <laughs> I miss it when they had, like, your fucking, uh... Like, not who you're weak to, but... Or, like, yeah. Wait. You can even press left now to switch your uniform. Let's don't worry about it. Let's battle again soon. You two seem to be becoming fast friends, though you've only just met. I'm gonna get an app on my Rotom phone. Damn. Back in my day, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. It's quite the age we live in now. What? But like, wasn't like the Pokedex that fucking, uh, well I guess he's older than Professor Oak. Well back in my uh, Legend Arceus days, who wrote shit on fucking stone? Okay. <laughs> Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pode Pokedexes, Chris, you probably never caught wild Pokemon, right? <laughs> right, yeah. I know, King. That's what I was exactly fucking thinking. <laughs> okay. Um, press left now to switch your uniform. There we go. What do I get? What do I got? Uh, try on. Oh, that's the summer. Autumn. Winter. I look so preppy, though. Oh, the suspenders are cute. If he had... Like, if I had pants on, I would be great, but the shorts kind of, like, who wears shorts in autumn? Like, it's fucking 60 degrees. I like my suspenders. Yeah, look at that. Gray socks. Uh, apparently that's the only, uh, performance sneakers. Okay. School gloves. I hate the gloves look. I take it off. Take it off! Uh, I can't get rid of it. Uh, oh, remove his X. Okay. Um, oh, canvas bag. I think that's... Eh. School backpack. That looks better. Okay. School helmet. Why the fuck do I have a helmet? Sporty cap. What if I just don't want a hat? Do I need one? The hat's kind of cute. Ooh, I can get glasses. Ugh, those are so basic. 
default case. Okay, that's good enough. Yes. All right. Can't get any of these. Oh shit, that's cool. <laughs> I can slide. <laughs> I forgot I made that command here. <laughs> oh, Chris, I heard that Nimona will be taking you to school. Do I look like I need a babysitter, bitch? My face went no perros. <laughs> now you'll be staying in school dorms, so I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off. I also packed a lunch for your first day. I got a sandwich. Oh, and maybe you better take these too. And I obtained five potions. What no paper in Ferrast does to a motherfucker. <laughs> Use them on that precious little partner of yours, should it get hurt in battle. Alright. Thank you, Mom. Your mother is so nice, Chris. Oh, but I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos. Okay, espérate. Jesus Christ. Uh, there we go. Fucking took five years. Hey, Chris, your mama hot. The mom in this game do be looking. <laughs> I always feel weird because uh, Nimona is still not convinced you're gonna. Uh, Nimona, I'm still not convinced you're gonna pitch my lunchbox on the floor and laugh at me for my hit favorite color of Power Ranger. <laughs> it's the path that leads to adventure for you, it'd be. Right, King? Seriously. To get too close to one, you'll know, have to battle, but you've got a foot cocoa for that, right? I got Goober. Here's a good old Pokeball. Okay. Oink, oink. Oh, what luck. Time for some learning by doing. Try battling this Lechonk, Chris. Okay, little goober, let's go. He's burnt. Yo, kid, where's this pig? I'm making bacon tonight, bitches! Let's go! <laughs> used a Pokeball. Gotcha, Lechonk was caught. Oh dude, I actually have some pork I'm planning to cut and smoke a birch wood. That sounds so good. Registered Lechonk's dad has been added to the fucking Pokedex. Would you like to give Lechonk a no? No, I really don't. A new Pokemon has been registered. Yay, good for me. Uh, Hala? That was awesome. You caught the... Hala? <laughs> you caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. Anyway, here's some more Pokeballs just in case. Not every catch works out. That's weird. Is Hala like something that they say? Like, cause that just means tug in Spanish. Okay, the Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass. 
caves and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. Um, you can also start a battle by looking toward a wild Pokemon and throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. Okay. Okay, who lost? But as a kid, when people were nice to me, I was like, a am I am I the weird kid in class who's just being nice to you? Or, oh my god, I totally feel that. Like, I always felt that, like, people were only, like, nice to me because they felt sorry for me. The fuck? What are you? Oh, it looks like a ball of yarn spider. Uh... I'm assuming it's like bug. <laughs> Seriously. Probably a lot of the same traumas, so probably. <laughs> uh alright, we got 14 Pokeballs. Hell yeah, let's go. To round chilla. Let's talk. Aw, oh, yeah. The Pokedex has been, uh, expanded or something. I don't know. Oops, I don't want to name you. Here we go. He's been added to the party. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like the little books. Oh, hop it. How cute. Hi, fight me, bitch. Get a tackle. Level three topic. I don't even use these buggers. I just think they're cute. <laughs> and all right. Gotcha. Hop hip was caught. Level up. Goober learned a round. My round boy. Registered. No. Oh. I'm only gonna nickname the ones that I'm gonna keep. New Pokemon has been registered. Pop up leaf. Oh. And we got a potion. Oh shit. <laughs> I like how it's up in the trees. It's so cute. I love the slide I can do. More chunks. Ooh. Here. Um. <laughs> hey, welcome in. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. Uh, just think they're cute. That's the optimal way to play a Pokemon, honestly. <laughs> just come over, be all Fiji, can meet my dogs, one of them meows sometimes, but that's because Jonesy is bilingual. Good for Jonesy. <laughs> just gonna catch all the cute Pokemon. Just gonna catch every single Pokemon. Definitely a real name. <laughs> Andre. I'm assuming that says Andre real name. I apologize if I mispronounce that. Okay. How do you tackle? Tommy. That's kind of cute. I feel like I'm a little far away. I can barely see it. Um, it is actually my real name. Well, you see, one of us here used to use their real name, too. <laughs> I find that funny. Either way, it's all good. I, too, also use my real name sometimes. Tommy was caught. Damn, you sound like my ex. No, King, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, look, it looks cute. I like it. Aww, it looks adorable. What is this thing? What? Is, what are you? What is this little bugger? Imagine using your real name. <laughs> I totally forgot about your username, babe. <laughs> I don't use my real name, but I'll literally rattle it off on request. 
I mean, wow, what is my name? Hmm, don't know. <laughs> Honestly, my username used to be name initials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Full legal name. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, I can just use X. I don't know why I keep forgetting there's that shortcut there. Damn. One of which is Montgomery. Nice. Oh, the little Tommy is level three or something. Leveled up. Scatterbug. I hate bugs. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be sent to the fucking uh, box here shortly. Who, to anyone who isn't Italian, I gotcha. <laughs> that thing is long. <laughs> yeah. My full name is pretty long too. Only uh, a few of you know it. <laughs> There's a kind of unsafe cave not too far from here, so steer clear. I want to go, though. Find the source of the mysterious cry. Thank God we're on the same level. Okay, so... Let's uh, set this destination. Let's bug and go. Fuck you, Nimona. I'll do what I want. Man, I wish Italians were real. <laughs> wow. Well, Mario is so cool. I was literally about to say, so Mario isn't real? Wait. Chris Pratt isn't real? <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. There's, like, two little, um... What is it? Hound doors? Not Chris Brat. I'm half Italian. <laughs> Deal with it. I like how I just jumped off the cliff. It's so cool of me. Oh no, dude. I'll rescue you. I don't know what the fuck you are. You may be dangerous. Doesn't matter. Is he hungry? The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up? Um, do you want to eat my phone? <laughs> uh, he wants a sandwich? Whenever someone mentions Italian, I remember the scene from Inglorious Bastards where they're pretending to be Ita Italian and speaking badly. <laughs> yeah, the Ultra Beast shit was pretty fucked up. It looks so cool. Those Ultra Beasts look so fucking cool, though. I really wish there was more, like you know, lore regarding the Ultra Beasts and shit. Very disappointed. They were- they are severely fucked up. Like... Legends Arceus was pretty fucked up. I never got very far in Arceus, so I really don't know much of the lore surrounding it. Um, you can tell me about it. Off stream. Or on stream, I don't care. Uh, yeah, but that's just because they didn't have the polio vaccine. What the fuck? Look at any ghost type Pokedex entry. Okay, but like, po fucking ghost Pokemon are legitimately my favorite. My, uh, my team is usually just ghost Pokemon. Oh shit, he looks angry. Oh fuck. Uh, 
really? Three ads? I didn't know there was three ads in a row. But honestly, I got stuck between I got stuck behind like seven or nine ads one time, so. I am really soft on ghost Pokemon that are just real objects. <laughs> Blacephalon is dope. I don't think I've heard of that one. Oh, is my... I don't think... Did I add the sound alerts? Hold on. Whoops. Give me one sec. I think I forgot to add it on this page. Uh... Where is it? Oh, shit. Let me try this again. See if it'll go. No. No. There we go. <laughs> I need to be a fucking adult and build me a decent PC and watch it from here and not the app. Oh, shit. Um... I think if you put it on, like, I think, because, like, I usually watch a lot of my stuff through, like, the TV, and I, I don't get ads on TV. Who doesn't love Explosive Head? I mean, true. Okay, here we go. JFK, the last defendable president. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Go in this dark and mysterious cave with a Pokemon I've never met before in my life. JFK can suck a f can suck a left nut, considering the way that they treated like their fucking family members and shit. Doesn't seem like he was that defendable in the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> as far as I care, all fucking presidents deserve to be fucking shot. Every fucking millionaire deserves to be hung from the fucking town square. This Pokemon isn't allowed within 50 feet of the kid or 500 feet of Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> hey, are you- uh, there you are, Chris. Are you okay? You're not hurt. I'm fine. I'm managing, bitch. <laughs> Thank goodness, I was really worried. If you'd gotten hurt because I said we, we she should go look for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You've just got to find a way to climb out of there. If you can get close, I'll try pulling. You're up with one of my Pokemon's... I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon's moves. Wish they would have considered the Maridon from behind, it looks like. Is that what this thing is? Uh, yeah, JFK was a on a deeper level on IMO. He was assassinated because he was clamping down on the IRS trying to dissolve the CIA, FBI, and stopping their wackadoo antics on a foreign level. Wasn't he- uh, anyways, welcome to the Joe Rogan experience with Calcio. <laughs> Damn. You're about to be cancelled. Sorry. Yeah, and then some mysterious nobody shot him in the head. I gotcha. He, they still treated their family members like shit, though. Wasn't he the one that had, like, his, like, daughter or something lobotomized? Or am I thinking of a different person? Yen Goose. I mean, you know, if you really think about it, like, I'm pretty sure one, you know, every president has... has done something to... Uh, be defendable about, but I think it was his aunt or something. I think, let me, okay. You do, but like, ultimately all presidents and all millionaires and anybody in fucking power just deserve to die. I don't want to add it. Oh, fuck. Oops. I don't care. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, no, he can suck both nuts. 
Well, he can't suck shit because he's fucking dead. <laughs> his dad and his sister lobotomized. His dad, too? Fuck, yeah, I thought it was, like, I can remember. It was, like, some, some female, some woman close to him and his... Shit, and his dad lobotomized. I did not hear about his dad. Holy fuck. Well, I mean, in the end, he got lobotomized, too. Look at that little dick of it. Alright, tackle. No, his dad lobotomized his sister. Oh, I see, see. His, his dad had his sister lobotomized. I misread that, sorry. I gotcha, I gotcha. And then just uh, yoke her into a fucking room and nobody knew about her for 40 years. I would like to punt Elon Musk into the sun, speaking of alive people. Chris, you can't just say that? <laughs> <laughs> um, I kind of did. <laughs> I have an attack called a round. What does it do? I'm curious. You know, it's fucked up too because she was awake during so they made her do the Lord's Prayer and they stopped pushing when she started slurring. Oh my god! I have no fucking clue. That is so fucked up. Well, you know, they deserve what they got. Oh, our follower goal is met. Awesome. Thank you so much for following. Really appreciate it. I don't know why that's my uh, alert sound, but for the moment it is. <laughs> I could have swore I changed it. Round makes you round. It may- it, I sang or something. There's a lot of fucked up shit in government people don't know about. I heard no alert, really. Oh, you know what? It's because I don't have the sound alert thing. Ugh. Oh well. It is what it is. Like Ruby Ridge directly leading into Waco, Texas, both of which being gross abuses of governmental power with no reason. I have never heard about that. Dude, there's like so much, uh... Now I feel the weight of responsibility. I'm not from the US. Every one of your presidents probably deserves to have a hit called on them. Absolutely. I think everybody in power uh, deserves to have fucking somebody get shot and kill- somebody kill them and have them fucking be shot. I got us through a thingamajig. Perfect. Like... Remember when everybody thought Hideo Kojima was the one that fucking assassinated that Japanese president? Or prime minister or whatever? I thought that was great. Oh, I can't go this way. I'm like- I was like, why can't I go forward? <laughs> I'm like stuck. Youngest looks like a tiny mafia boss. It looks cute. I cannot- I could not go this way. Oh, it's because of the... What the fuck? Look at these little puppies. <gasps> so many puppies. Oh, they got scared. <laughs> so cute. Um... Yeah, okay, babe, you can press Y to see attack descriptions. You know what, babe? Thank you so much. I super appreciate that. Thank you. Um, what the fuck? I couldn't read it. What? Uh, you know the reason they killed all those people in Waco, Texas, and then pushed a smear campaign to call it a call. The Branch Davidians, the cult, made a lot of money through gunsmithing, and they were falsely accused of not paying taxes on a completely legal Armalite rifle. They did, and they then completely made up child abuse claims. Uh, just assume if they have either money or tangible power, they're currently doing some fucked up shit. Absolutely, completely agree. Sorry for the whole. <laughs> also, that Prime Minister assassination, most accessible one in history. Jesus Christ, the guy's is a legit hero. Absolutely, I completely agree. If I, uh, if my internet gets disconnected and the fucking FBI are at my door, um... Japan does what America can. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, to be fair, Shinzo, uh, is it Abby? Abby or Abe? Uh, got clapped by the motherfucking thingamabob. <laughs> I know! I can't believe somebody, like, legit fucking made up a gun in Japan and just straight up assassinated him. What a hero, seriously. Chris, look out, something's coming. Damn, why don't we do that? Here, we have so many fucking guns in the US and we just fucking take it like a motherfucker. Behind you, it's behind you. Oh shit. Big Papa coming out here. Doom. I know I'm under surveillance because I have a degree in ordnance engineering with specializations in the propellants. His name was Tetsuya Yamagami. Fucking let us never forget. He did what Americant. Battle. While Houndoom is crunched. Oh no! What? What is going on? Why can't I attack? Bless. Why'd you take my Pokemon, you little shithead? Give him back! Oh, now you're being all high and mighty? I didn't ask you to step in. Look, now what you got us into. God damn. I should have just fucking left you on the shoreline. Fucking eating that sandwich right in front of you. Also, Houndoom is, is kind of just a mid-Pokemon. <laughs> it's goth, sure, but its stats are whack. What the fuck? Hey! What are you doing up there? Up here, quick! She's like, I'm gonna help you. Just kidding, I'm just gonna be up here waving. They paid for my six-inch sub. <laughs> Damn. I too like my six inch subs. Um, let's see. Way to go for a second. I thought you were both goners. <laughs> Mariah Dent loves grinders. <laughs> and then he, he fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what's wrong? I fed him. He used up all his power. Cyclozar? But I've never seen one quite like this before. And now it looks different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. <laughs> I'd be popping my pussy for the provolone too, to be honest. <laughs> Stop! My, man, why the fuck does this game look so good though? You know, that battle down there was really something. No, it's got Terminal Ligma. <laughs> they really stepped it up from Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield. Yeah, that's for sure. You and this fellow look perfectly sync in facing down that- How did we look perfectly sync, bitch? He literally picked me up. He took my Pokemon, picked me up, and fucking flew me. That is not perfectly in sync. He literally just fucking dominated my ass. What? You didn't even tell him what to do? I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon trainer yet, huh? Maybe it was Jimmy John's. <laughs> Some JJ's. Dragged her corpse up from a cave and she's like, damn, so in sync, right? <laughs> oh god, it looks like it perked up a bit. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh man, oh man, the more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it looks. If you do become its trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. This fucking Pokemon can eat your head off. How come her Rotom phone is black? I want a fucking Rotom phone that's black. You obtain TM0, TM32 Swift. Okay. Think before you use it, though. Teams can only be used once. Made by Hitachi. <laughs> and you're like, oh, makes sense. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Head to the lighthouse. All right. Let's 
gonna slide my way there. Can I jump? No, I can't jump. I wanna jump. I wanna jump. What are you guys? Oh, this little, uh... Fletchling. This user attacks the target with a song. If others use this move, they will act immediately after the initial user, and the power of the rounds will be boosted. Round. I need some Pokemon's whole head. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we talking about, like... What are we talking about here? And also as food? <laughs> Damn. Um, uh, but... Okay. King gets it. So, what's y'all's favorite Pokemon? Mine is Scyther. Uh, mine is Gengar, actually. Like, Gengar, Mimikyu, um, a lot of ghost Pokemon. Oh, wishy washy. It's so cute. Uh, send to your boxes. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you, Meow. Uh, bye. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love that pin. <laughs> the funny pin. <laughs> That's not to the- I want to grab that fucking thing that's shiny. Meow is like so good. Oh my god, Nimona! Leave me the fuck alone! There's literally something shiny right there and I can't fucking grab it! Oh, that guy reminds me of that one, like, evil trainer. Why that little... What are you doing out here? <laughs> Yes, everybody loves Meow. Um, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna do some of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> Iris. <laughs> Evil Trainer Giovanni. It was that, like, in second gen, you had that Evil Trainer. I think it was, like... Honey likes fingers. <laughs> I love that! <laughs> Oof. Damn. Somebody needs to touch grass. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Um, I did not fix up all the sounds on the full screen one. Whoopsie. Oh, well, you get a C. I call him gold because I'm an old head when it comes to Gen 2. <laughs> grass in this economy. <laughs> you can just be a grass trainer. Damn, should catch an auto. Should finally touch yourself some grass. <laughs> Mammal. <laughs> I love that. You two can shove off. Aren't you, Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of the Pokemon researcher, Professor Turo? Mammal. 
It doesn't matter who my dad is. Pokemon violent. Hi, V. <laughs> uh, the real issue is here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is this... Uh, and what is with this form it's in? <laughs> Matmul. <laughs> Sorry, I need to uh, fix the sounds. Which I forgot to do. Because I am super, uh, super smart. <laughs> Arvin, you look like when you play DDR, I can hear your chastity cage jingling. <laughs> Such a fucking sub. <laughs> no. Keek, what do you got against DDR? What do you got against chastity belts? <laughs> god no he's just a fucking bottom i know he's got fucking bottom energy that's what i was saying <laughs> oh so have i <laughs> not the chastity cage post <laughs> and what is with its form it's in it saved me from a tight spot Oh my god. So we heard the strange cry and we tried to investigate, but Chris fell off a cliff. I fell off a cliff. Okay, I've been lurking, but it was in, uh... I'm assuming that's 14 dungeon. Hi, everyone. I forget no one Roman numerals. Uh, yeah. Nothing wrong with bottoms. Nothing wrong whatsoever with bottoms. I will fight anybody who has any problem with bottoms. I am not a bottom, but there's nothing wrong with bottoms. Okay, never mind. Good night. Throw his balls down the hall. <laughs> Give him torture cock and balls. <laughs> Listen, I'll only bottom on orcish rules. I need to be best in combat before I can be topped. It's like an unlockable ending for maxing a stat and dating sim. It got kind of slumpy afterwards. <laughs> but you should see it before. It totally looked it looked really different. It was unbelievably strong. Just gotta feed it a bunch of sandwiches. Well, yeah, as it should be, but it can't fight while it's like this. The four Meridian Meridian uh, takes in battle that it's true form. Yo, is Chris your real name? Just like how Andrea is mine? Yes. I also, I am very sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. But yeah, Chris is my real name. Uh, King, on a scale of 1 to 10, how hot would it be for me to whack you with a shovel? This fucking lizard has diabetes. What the fuck? Because I don't see myself winning fair. V, if you hit me with a shovel. <laughs> you can't go in the lab. It's locked. I'm gonna ride on these nuts. Your claims. Andre's your real name makes me doubt it. Hello. Welcome in. I am good. Kind of hot. Also starfish. I will snap it over my knee and jam it up your ass. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. <laughs> Welcome in. I am playing Pokemon. My name is Sai or Chris. Whichever you prefer is fine. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given the uniform, you go to the academy too. Arvid, you just need to uh, chill. Dude, my plan is working. <laughs> Oh, thanks for the shout out. Sorry, there's no sound at the moment. I need to fix it up at some point. I like the dogs though, that's cute. <laughs> oh, so cute. Oh shit. <laughs> They're attacking each other. Thank you for the lurk. <laughs> Shit nozzle that nut farmer is fucking S tier goblin name. What the fuck? What about nut nozzle the shit farmer? Mine goblin? <laughs> uh, you think you're up ordering Maridon around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Yes. 
Ha, well, you look like quite the little go-getter. Time to get pegged, Arvin. We had Dung Eater who got kicked and get this. It was dogs I watch on a regular basis. They're so cute. This game replaces your reverse Val with a random one. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth and I want it gone. Okay. Um. Power is 40. Power is 60. Okay, if you don't pick Arvin, my schedule is open, Chris. Oh my god. <laughs> my goblin, these nuts. <laughs> Chris checks the power of each move. Me, Lamal, let's just use a swim. <laughs> also made him fight. I don't know what you're talking about, King. Keep talking. <laughs> Riss, no, Lo. <laughs> you have to know how much damage you're doing. This one is called Big Bitch Slap. Let's let's use that, dude. If I had a move that said Big Bitch Slap, I would use it all the time. I don't even care. Well, Chris, that's awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I only just caught. Yeah, no shit, Arvin. God damn. But if you really think you can take Maridon off my hands for me, you'll need this. Th it's the Pokeball this that brute's been kept in. You obtain Maridon's Pokeball. You put the Pokeball bag in key items. Versus Pokemon moves are just like Mary's layers unnecessary. <laughs> so why do you have it? Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine. Good luck. Goodbye. What? Oi, can you not hear me or something? Dude needs to be spanked. Fine, be that way, but you actually better show up to school. What a weirdo. That Arvin guy definitely knows more than he's letting on. Next time he and I are battling, I'm gonna wring some answers out of him. Who needs to be spanked? Arvin. <laughs> Honestly, power is kind of deceiving because, like, you have to take into account the tackles, attack and special attack stats. I agree. Okay, but if, like, Arvin doesn't get <laughs> spanked, my schedule is still open. King, keep begging. <laughs> uh, climb to the top of the lighthouse. This fucking shit really wants me to get up on this lighthouse. South Province, Area 1. Hi! Look, Chris, that's Mesagosa. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, Chris. But all that schoolwork. <laughs> Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. Isn't it awesome you can see from up here? Bitch, I can barely look over the fucking guardrail. Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature, stuff as far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural places? Tons of Pokemon. <laughs> right? <laughs> Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. <laughs> I feel like I got that 50 year old person vision. Well, uh... You know, I'm wearing my contacts right now, so don't give me that shit. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make Los Platos for starters. 
That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. All right, I'm glad I went up this fucking lighthouse for no fucking reason. Why go back up? Now I can go this way, thank god. Oh no, I didn't want to fight you, you little shithead. I'm just gonna burn you. Super effective. Goodbye. No. Damn, not again. I love Scatterbug's little tooth. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey, let's battle. Sure, dude. We're gonna be kicking this little kid's ass. If you talk to a Pokemon trainer like me, it means we're gonna battle. This kid's like a fucking toddler. He looks like he's two years old and he wants me to fucking uh, battle him. Uh, Yeah, I have like astigmatism on my left eye. I'm like... So my prescription is like Plano minus one and a quarter. So my my right eye has a lot of astigmatism, and then my left eye is nearsighted. So I'm like a minus one. This is the kid that says he fucked your mom in a con lobby. <laughs> it's so true. So if you have like a quarter astigmatism, that's like. Practically nothing. I mean, that's nothing. I mean, it's... Um... The only time you even start... And then says a slur. <laughs> the only time you even start prescribing, uh, like, correcting astigmatism is when it gets up to, like, a minus 50 or minus 75. Um, and then for, like, contact lenses, it's a minus 75 for astigmatism. Uh, I work at an... With an optometrist, so I know what I'm talking about. In case you want to know what my fucking credentials are. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. I like it as a rule. He goes on Roblox to learn them new spicy words. Oh my god. So speaking of Roblox, back um, when my baby brother was like super into Roblox, he went on my fucking computer. He looked up YouTube and he looked up ways to get free Roblox money and gave me a fucking virus. He gave me a fucking virus looking up fucking, like, ways to get free Roblox money. Do you know how fucking pissed I was? <laughs> I was like, you fucking motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, that's the last time I'm ever letting you use my fucking PC. <laughs> Your credentials are that you have made it the fuck up. Hey, hey, hey. That's between us. Did he get that Roblox money? No, he didn't get the fucking Roblox money. <laughs> did he get that motherfucking money? <laughs> he did not. <laughs> no, but my fucking PC, I had to like fucking clean it up and shit. Oh, fuck. Did he get the fucking Roblox money? God damn it. <laughs> no, he did not. Fuck. Uh... Damn. Oops. I didn't want kids either yet. Here I am. I mean, who hasn't gotten a virus trying to get free shit? Am I right? <laughs> true. True. <laughs> Damn, this little motherfucker is only eight inches. Uh, live wire flashbacks. If you don't have a kid, one will be assigned to you for me, basically. Uh, I would rather not ever have a kid assigned to me. <laughs> I have it, but I did on my own terms and I'm the only victim, right? That's a whole different thing. Why is this Psyduck just here chilling? Damn, I wish I was only eight inches. Wow, here we go.
I want to roll around in someone's shirt pocket. <laughs> Tiny King. <laughs> I miss LimeWire. You can download LimeWire Premium on LimeWire. That's the funniest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Not that, Chris. Get your mind out of the gun. My bad. Sorry, King. King, your ass knows what you said. <laughs> Side duck. Uh. Yeah, but we do love a double entendre here. Yes, we do. We've established recently that blue is three inches tall. Damn, blue is only three inches tall? That must suck. Everybody knows how fucking tall I am. Oh, these little guys are yapping. <laughs> so cute. It's like a little dog. Blue is pocket size. Blue is the size of a can of beans. Who's dissing me? Apparently everybody is. Wow, could, could you imagine being short? I could not imagine being short. Who the fuck is short? It's like the fucking 21st century. Get tall. Diss these nuts, Mary. <laughs> In my mouth. <laughs> Wait, how tall are you, Chris? It's probably just the top energy, but I think you're tall. I am very tall. <laughs> Baru fact, I'm 69 inches tall. Wow, Barry. Wow. <laughs> I'm just giving away all my secrets. I'm average size. Nice. Shut the fuck up, Chris. Chris has 411 energy. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh look, it's a Ralts! How cute! I be hiding shit from me on the top shelf. Uh, yeah... I'm about... Uh, Meow is four inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> Me hiding the cake from Chris by putting it on the table. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, B. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know who fucking told you these lies. I, uh... I don't know who told you these lies. <laughs> I'm legit 5'7". Nice. This small meow. Mew, even. That's so cute. King, do you want a shoulder ride? V, how the f how tall are you? I have so I have to compensate with my zany and wacky personality. I totally feel you. I also too have to compensate with uh, all this top energy. I might be a little taller, but the scoliosis, I'm like six feet. I don't know. I don't have a fetish for measuring system. <laughs> that is that is understandable. I don't know why people are so obsessed with height. Legit. I'll kick your ass either way. Gotcha, Ralts was caught. Wait, I can finally stop compensating? Fuck, I put all this effort in for nothing. <laughs> no, as in feet. You are compensating for- what? You have a foot fetish? What the fuck, V? Um, oh, I want to name Ralts. I like Ralts. Uh, what should I name Ralts? Feet for free? <laughs> Feet footish. <laughs> MILF? I'm not gonna fucking name Ralts MILF? <laughs> Rattletoads? No! <laughs> Thank you for the sound alert that you can't hear, and I'm very sorry that you can't hear it. <laughs> Mm 
Name it Eugene. Name it Rat. Name it MILF. This is censorship. <laughs> I can choose whatever the fuck I want to name it. Rule 34. It's those sexy, sexy Neanderthals. We're so attractive that to this day we have residual attraction for them. Name it Shorkeen. Mind bullets. <laughs> These are awful names. I'm gonna name it Eugene. Fucking hell. It's the only fucking name that is a name. There we go. <laughs> Eugene Crafts. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. Get out of here. Tits Wheeze. <laughs> Name it Tits. Homosexual whooper, rip and peace, CBT, nutbuster. I've been naming my mons the uh, random generator side. My best Pokemon right now is whooper named homosexual. <laughs> oh no. Name it Patricia. I'll name, I'll name the next one Patricia. Whooper would be gay. Anal whooper sounds so nasty. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> that sounds awful. What is this? Oh, that's cute. It's a little icky book. I'm slopped up whooper in my heart. <laughs> I want to name a whooper slopped up. <laughs> Anal whooper for when you need that bussy beat up. Clo Claudic Colo is definitely gay. She whooper on me till I slop. <laughs> My other mons are Elbow, Dennis, Ballet, <laughs> Bowel, and Cereal. I have a dude named Sex in my box as well. <laughs> I fucking love Slopped Up Whooper. Hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Alien buffs data has been added to the Pokedex. Now that would be be a perfect Patricia, not the Ditto. The poor poor Ditto. Um. Chalky milk whooper. Oh, what is this thing? Pooper? Oh no. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Welcome in. Fido. Oh, cute. Little doggy. I'm going to confess you. <laughs> Thanks for the shout out. Uh, sounds not working, just letting you know. Um, I'm only gonna name the ones I'm gonna be keeping for a while. Jump scare. <laughs> That's all right. Hope see the ratio. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I love that all the time. Fido is such a good name for a Pokemon. It is so good. I agree. Damn you out here dissing Fido, Chris. Shiny Fido, Fido is a W. I thought I thought it was cute. It's a cute Pokemon. I'm not dissing anything. Why the fuck did my brain produce the first sentence? Submissive and readable. Why does it keep burping though? I don't know. I hate my neurons. Yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, King. Ban? Yeah, let's just ban King. Goodbye. <laughs> like nickname Fido because I like that name. It's my need to mask pain with humor. Uh sure. Fairy wind. It's when it farts. I'm a needy little croissant. Oh no! <laughs> he got timed out. Rip. <laughs> Goodbye King. Enjoy your time out. Oh no, I, I said I don't want to rename Fido. Uh. Did you know Missing No is a, uh, is a common dog or a cat name here? People out here naming their animals Missing No. I had no idea. That's nuts. <laughs> Los platos. If you change the name of that mod, we riot. No, I'm not. We ain't blue of the rules. <laughs> Yo, we <eat> the Fido. <laughs> Going to bed, it's an oversized hydraulic press. <laughs> this here is a Pokemon Center. You can come here to take a lot of things related to your Pokemon. Nai nai, enjoy your oversized hydraulic press. The entire UK doesn't exist. <laughs> Damn. And this to my right is a technical machine. Machine, TM machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach you moves to your Pokemon. You'll need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. I resent the fact that I've been lumped into non-existence with the English still. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Night Night me. So I see I'm getting myself this game for Christmas. Yeah, do it. Go for it. Ooh, I got 5,500 LP. Oh yeah, and some of these too. You receive lots of Pokemon materials from Nimona. So far it's fun. Enjoyable. Especially like around Christmas time and you know treat yourself nice. Remember how to rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. Fuck quizzes. But mnemonics help you out. Here's another one. Are you ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you have the Pokemon that's walking when you, with you go pick up items lying around or go to battle on its own or other stuff like that. Pressing the R button is a quick and easy way to tell your lead Pokemon. All right, buddy, let's go. Once you give the go-ahead, your Pokemon will set out in its own battle nearby a Pokemon or pick up items. It finds the area. When your Pokemon is low on energy, which happens when its HP is low, you, it won't be able to go exploring on its own. So if your Pokemon gets weak, try to heal him up with potion or some other items. Okay, cool. Fucking goddamn it, Chris. Why are you forcing me to buy this game? I was already somewhat interested in I ain't forcing anybody anything. I said if you want to, and you have the funds available for it, and if you want it for Christmas, go for it. Treat yourself right. 
Everybody deserves a little treat here and there. Um, yeah, I'd like to sell. Do I have anything to sell? I don't think so. Chris ain't force you to do something you didn't already want to do. <laughs> That's very true. I don't force anybody to do anything. I just let them explore what they want to. What is this? Diglett dirt. Material accidentally dropped by a Pokemon. I can make use. Oh, these are the TMs. Like, or stuff that you can make with TMs. Nice. Okay, I need to buy Pokeballs though. Um. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Baru out here with a fucking gun. Buy it. <laughs> Do I need these LPs for something else, or can I just use them to buy shit? <laughs> mm. I have so much cash, holy shit. Brazilian, just letting you know, letting y'all know, because that's like 75% of my personality. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Brazil, mom Brazil mentioned. <laughs> Is that a motherfucking Brazil reference, right? <laughs> I'd like to heal my Pokemon. Can I register my birthday, huh? huh. <laughs> That's funny. Baru fucking lore, for real. Oh nice, they give you tips now. Sick. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Can I register my birthday? Certainly, and allow me to get your birthday registered in our system. American Pokemon, you say, I'd like to heal my Pokemon, and the guy replies, and I like a house that doesn't smell like vomit. <laughs> so true. Enter your birth month. Everybody, uh, don't look. I don't want anybody to know my birthday. Also, Jonesy is here now. Cute. Thanks for registering your birthday with the Pokemon Center. You should stop by on your big day, too. Oh. Yo, my minion looks harder. <laughs> Welcome. This is Los Platos. We're here to happy. We're always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. From Fortnite? <laughs> Our desserts will melt your heart. Mackley salt ice cream, teriyaki, mango ice cream, strawberry ice cream. Oh yeah. 
I already know your birthday, bitch. <laughs> well, nobody else is allowed to know my birthday. But yeah, my hometown is called Bauru, which is also the name of a sandwich. Oh, it's Los Patos. I thought you just drank the Splatoon Kool-Aid and we're saying Los, Los Platos. <laughs> the show is fun for what I remember. I'm such a fucking goon dude. That's okay. I forgive you, King. Uh, <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> what the hell? I do like my uh, salmon runs. Strawberry ice cream. Please come again. Am I the only one who gets existential crisis about a month before their birthday? This post is sponsored by my birthday being a month away. Oh shit. You heard him. <laughs> um, I don't know. I get like this little like kind of melancholy feeling. I feel like I'm just kind of like old. <laughs> Aw, it's cute. Look at this little kid. Touchling, how cute. It's like, yeah, that sure is my age. It definitely is. <laughs> I'm so glad here I am, you know. I like that this game town names our table puns Mesa, Platos. I know, I was thinking that too. <laughs> The first one out. This Pokemon at the head. Yeah, okay. Well, I hope I don't. I don't want to die at 40. <laughs> That's like probably Bautista bombing a president or something. That's a mood. I have lost myself from liking it by throwing a big party for my friends. <laughs> I like that your friends and your wife like is make you like a birthday party and stuff. Uh, to be honest, I'll probably live to like 102 out of five. <laughs> oh, the music is nice. Oh me? See, we're locals. <laughs> I go to school every day and learn lots and lots about Pokemon and things. How is this the South Province if I'm going north? I just grew up poor, so like after I turned eight, we stopped throwing any parties or getting me any gifts because money we don't have. I totally understand that. Fighting this other little toddler. Holy shit. Aww. That's so sweet. <laughs> I promised my wife I would never die, so I'm gonna never die. <laughs> Pretty fucking gay, bud. <laughs> oh, Fido's fairy. I did not know that. That's very nice. I am bisex, you all. Same. But that's very sweet, Mary. I'm really glad that they did that. We all fruity here. We are all fruity here. You 
Dean's defense fell. <laughs> but it ain't straight. <laughs> Oh, it's using Leer. Again. God, I can't believe I have four gay emotes. <laughs> Can you stop using Leer on me? That'd be great. Yeah, I'm the same way, Meow. It does- oh, it doesn't affect- oh. Maybe if I fucking saw that. Jesus Christ. I'm here trying to attack and using the same fucking attack over and over again that doesn't even attack it. Almost dead. Can't believe I'm fighting this fucking child. <laughs> you defeated Peer the student. Wow, my two Pokemon. I cannot believe we fucking decimated this fucking child and his two his only two Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Would you like to save your adventure? Sure. Chris really said, fuck them kids. <laughs> I sure did. Um. Okay, I'm supposed to go... To there. There's the house. Okay. Okay. That is redeemed. I promise I'll pay you all back. It is all good. Actually, I'm gonna take a quick break. I will be right back. Enjoy Pokemon music.
All right, I am back. I grabbed my little cappuccino here. Now time for some more mons. Let's go. Uh, yo, this reminds me of World of War World of Horror mixed with a vapor wave. Um, oh, thanks for the redeems posture check. Absolutely, hydrate. I have water right next to me. I played World of Horror. Uh, I have a bot of it on YouTube. I have not played it recently with the new uh, mods though. Whenever I type shit weird, it's because I say it, I I'm saying it weird for zaniness. That's all good. Okay. Oh, fuck. I hate this fucker. <laughs> A little too. Fucking burn it, bitch. Let's go, Uber. Ooh, and a crit. Nice. All right, all right. Let's go. I found a Pokeball. Hell yeah. Oh, what is this? <laughs> is that a shiny? Is it? I can't tell. <laughs> How can you tell if it's a shiny? <laughs> That'd be Gengar. I would have to have a Gengar. Oh, or Mimikyu. They're so, like, equal. I love them both. I think you just murdered a shiny? What? Like, the little, uh, worm thing? That was a shiny? Whoops. <laughs> I love how it's like, I, uh, nah, it wasn't a shiny. I, I don't care. It was literally a worm that I would never touch. <laughs> shinies are very obvious. Well, like, I know not all shinies are very obvious. Like, there's some shinies that... <coughs> oh, excuse me. That look hmm, very similar to their actual, like, their normal colors. Oh, okay, sorry. I mean, whatever. <laughs> if you see a shiny, please let me know. Because I'll more than likely not even realize it. Bonsley. Oh, the sparklier than a pride parade. <laughs> God, good to know. I had no idea. <laughs> Isn't it ground? I can't remember what this thing is. It's not very effective. And this one, King the Shinies, are big hard to see sometimes though because there's no tingle or sparkle or anything. So there is no sparkle in this one? Well, I guess we're fucked. <laughs> well, if y'all see a shiny. Oh, stream broke? Did it break? Uh. Seems fine? Okay. Oh no, it was for me? Oh, okay. I was like, uh, everything says it's going fine. Bonsley was caught. Nice. Yeah, oh, it's rock. That's what it was. It's all by sight? Oh, that's awful. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> no worries. I only 
care about uh and it's raining oh no like i only really care about like gengar and mimikyu like because i'm not really gonna keep any of these pokemon i'm just having them for the time being thing again. That's pretty nice. I like how it's open world. Look, look how pretty that is. I used to be... I used to use a shiny Gengar because Mega Shiny Gengar is white. Yeah, I, I like the shiny Mega Gengar. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> I promise I will not make any hilarious jokes until you're done refreshing. I'm just gonna sit here and look at the scenery. The only joke here is me sad. <laughs> oh no, I feel that, it's okay. I am also Boo Boo the Clown. Ooh. You're like going into a castle. Look how cool that is. You've arrived at your destination. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> okay. Nobody say anything. <laughs> you got it. I'm gonna go like goth clown. Welcome back. You did it. We can do emotes and shit. <laughs> no, that's so mean, Baru. <laughs> oh, thank you for the redeems. Appreciate it. <laughs> This is the only one that's craftable. <clears throat> Starming voice. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Y'all are too nice. Too, too nice. Uh, okay. What is this? Low pick? Um, alright. Alright. Interesting, interesting. I will redeem that. No, oh, I'm not even connected to the internet. Interesting. Oh god. <laughs> Thank you for the redeems. How many is that? Uh... Nice. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Auto heal. Interesting. All right. Knock, knock. Let me in. <laughs> Don't leave that. <laughs> Oh, 
Oi, Chris. Ah, oh, shit. It's this bitch again. Nine saves minus one. You gotta save eight more times. No. Uh, sure. Let's fight. Let's have a fruitful battle. Let's have a fruity battle. <laughs> I like how it's advertising some sandals in the background. <laughs> knock knock, it's me, bitch. <laughs> True. I too am a non-binary bitch. We're having some fruity battles over here. Ooh, two Pokemon. Let's go. Fruity battle is best. Who can outfruit the other fruit? really work your type matchups. I can tell how badly you want to win. You are now- you're not allowed to be in this chat if you're straight. Or sis. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I'm kidding. <laughs> I will deeply regret this. She grabs her glove before battle. She's about to fist you. <laughs> Is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> Mary, you did not regret that. You embrace that. Embrace it. Embrace the fruitiness. Couple fingers at most. <laughs> These are endearingly precious target that steals the target's whole item. Heck, I gotcha. Uh, sure. We'll get rid of Growl then. Tommy. Um. Sure. Tommy's electric. Do I have. Oh, I should have kept Bonsley. Um, I should be able to just do lick. Man, shout outs to people that can handle getting fisted. They are braver and stronger than any marine. I agree. Anybody who can get fisted is fucking braver than the U.S. troops. Uh, I don't get it personally. I want some limb no matter how hot I find them. Put the whole arm of my ass and turn my guts like a fucking milkshake. <laughs> I really, really said that Nimona would be like, Connie, the only one getting fingers up their ass. I <laughs> shake my ass, my balls, my cock. <laughs> Damn, yeah. Your cock is loose. <laughs> Secure it in my mouth. God, y'all are gay. <laughs> Go to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to make a new rule. I'm sorry, everybody. Her, I guess. <laughs> Literally 1984. <laughs> Battle you is a blast. And then I read something about hole. So, oh shit. Chris spot. Hi, Vicky. Time to come in. 
We're just talking about people getting fisted. <laughs> Love you. Oh, time to ban a first time chatter. Yep. Gotta ban him. Fucking Fido is getting ass kicked. No, my poor puppy. Fido, no! Rip. Anti-glad combat. Uh. That's okay, I broke the extremely new rule as it was being written. Damn. I'm gonna have to time me out now. Breaking rules. Fuck! This little fucker does so much fucking damage. What the hell? Critical hit. A critical hit? Wow, nice. I have a hard time landing those even when I try. How's the game so far, Chris? Heard a lot of stuff about glitches and bugs and performance issues. So far, everything's been running really smoothly. I am honestly surprised. I've been expecting to encounter a... Uh, bug at this moment, but I've only been playing for two and a half hours, so I don't know. It's me! I'm the criminal! I am also wanted in, uh, all 50 states. Why is this Tommy a fucking light bulb? Alright, time to go goober. Now I just kept catching Pokemon. It's not that hard. Oof. Die, bitch! There we go. Tommy wants to learn the move Charge. Sure. I see you didn't go with the very annoying Sprigatito as a starter, so kudos for that. Based is always my love. Thank you, thank you. If you can count on anything, it's for Chris to be based. Rude, Vicky, but I also have all three. Hey, Vicky points another Brazilian. Brazil mentioned. Oh shit, two Brazilians? Two Brazilians in my chat? Holy fuck. Sorry, gonna have to kick you out. <laughs> oh fuck, the Brazilians learned those books. <laughs> Literally 1984. <laughs> Damn, Chris literally just hate crime to you fucking know it. <laughs> oh my god. Look, I can understand like a little bit of that. Putos. You're a fucking puto. <laughs> and ratio. <laughs> Pinches <laughs> gringos. Fine. Uh, Mary, let's speak Spanish. Damn, it's like them Brazilians have a whole nother language. ¿Por qué están hablando de mí? Putos means piss in this context, Chris. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. A little battery. How to order juice in Portuguese, which I completely forgot. <laughs>
You obtained three revives. Thank you. Oh, Pito. Pito in the chat. Let's go. I fucking love that emote so much. <laughs> A ver, hablamos español. No mames. <laughs> no mames. <laughs> Certified pe pito moment. No mames. Oh, it usually means foreigner or neutral. We sometimes we use it derogatorily when we want to insult someone talking shit about us. Pito moments. <laughs> Hey, no matter what, we're all hermanos here. Absolutely. We're a familia. No, I hate blue specifically. Fuck you. <laughs> Damn. Los pollos hermanos, así. See? Hey, speaking about pollos hermanos, uh, don't forget tomorrow we are watching Breaking Bad. We are, we are starting up Breaking Bad again tomorrow in Discord. At, uh... What did I say? What did I say? Two or three? Uh, oh, fuck. I forgot. Oh, it's like two or three Pacific Standard Time, and I will be, uh, oh shit, I have carne asada tomorrow. <gasps> Ooh, give me some. I want some carne asada. I want some tacos de lengua. That sounds so fucking good right now. Oh, some pozole. Dude, it is such pozole weather right now. Give me some pozole and tamales, please. Um, I... So, we stopped doing Breaking Bad... Um... In October, because October we did a bunch of, like, horror movies. I want a lotus. <laughs> there is no lotus over here. Um... <laughs> Because we were watching, like, uh, we watched Fear Street, which was fucking awesome. And then we watched Nope, which was also awesome. That's okay. I, too, try to be funny sometimes. Oh, like, we got a present. Chips and guac. Dude, I have some hot Cheetos right next to me. And I've been eyeing that bag this entire fucking time. Thank you for the shout-out. I'm so sorry the sound doesn't work. Ooh, tasty food or the hair salon. Let's go tasty food. What do I gotta do to cop them Cheetos? No, you do not touch my fucking Cheetos. I will stab your fucking hand if you touch my fucking Cheetos. Ooh, thank you for the Mary shout out. <laughs> food is bespoke. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh, creepy doll. Ah, creepy Mary doll. Give me them Cheetos. Listen, bitch, I will fight you off. Nobody touches my hot Cheetos. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrorist allies. Is that how you spell it? Terrestalize your Pokemon too, Chris. There's a few things you gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite. Buy some accessories to spice your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you gotta see Delivered Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Battle and Cheetos. The day gets better. Get out. Hit me especially hard because I'm Latino and my wife is proper white with the heavy <laughs> sound and like shit. <laughs> It's okay, my partner is white. I know she won't hurt me, but still. <laughs> you can't fucking terrestrialize in public, you perv. <laughs> oh, how cute. Oh, the drift bloom! Oh, I want that! That's so cute! I fucking love drift bloom so much. Take me away! This just fucking kill me, Drift Bloom. 
And my partner is also white. <laughs> Me and Meow partners are white. <laughs> my partner is non-existent. Sad. <laughs> Man, Drifloon balloons are so fucked up. Right? Right? Aw, thank you so much for the sub, Vicky. Super appreciate it. Can you call me? Oh man, you can't hear the fucking uh sound. Dang, I really need to fix that. I will have it fixed by next stream. Exactly the polycule. Love you, bitch. I love you. Thank you so much. You are too sweet to me. Wrote on phone cases. Oh yes, let's customize this phone. I love customizing phones. Let's go. Ooh, lavender. See, they do have lavender here. Sprigatito. They don't have a black fucking phone case. What the fuck? I want it black. <laughs> I love the spirals. Thank you so much. I super appreciate it. I'll do lavender. 1000 P. Not everyone is an emo bitch, Chris. Sorry. This is this is alt bitch phobic. I know, seriously. I like things in black and I like being an alt bitch. Oh man, now I want to dye my hair black. God, you guys, you guys gotta stop. <laughs> Where the fuck was the black? <laughs> seriously though! <laughs> Power anklet, damn. Look, it's gotta be in black. If it's not in black, I don't want it. Oh, the fucking Seattle polycule. I'm surprised I'm not like already in it, considering. <laughs> oh, wait for Seattle to sink into the ocean. <laughs> Damn. Why do you want to fucking kill me, King? Jesus. Um, wise glasses. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, King. <laughs> Sacrifice me to Satan. <laughs> um, let's see. <laughs> Ah, thank you so much, Mary, for fucking killing me. I'm so glad if I became a zombie, Mary would kill me. That's all I could hope for. <laughs> we obviously do not cuss here in this fucking Christian Twitch. wait on these until I get an actual team going. You know, we're no swearing in this Christian Twitch channel. <laughs> no hex, no fricks. No double-decker dicks, no dangs. <laughs> Hola, for fresh produce, look no further than delicioso. What would you like? I'd like to buy. Uh, we got some eggs. Oh, we got some chorizo. Look at that. Fucking chorizo. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm, some chorizo and huevos. That sounds fucking bomb. Bien provechido. Or provecho. Wait, is that what they said? Buen provecho. <laughs> Potato salad. Go for broke grill.
Hmm, interesting. Oh fuck, what the hell was that? <laughs> I just got fucking kicked out. <laughs> You can exchange materials, okay. This fucking kid. The Chi... Chirisu's ability? Is run away. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um. Come here. So I have to go to the academy. <laughs> yeah, they're fun to explore. It's really fun. I like it. Right? Oh my god, seriously. Fuck, I would love that. I do not live in walking distance <laughs> to anything. Uh, soda pop, lemonade. Hmm. Yeah, that sounded like a real fucking pop that just came down. blue. Sounds delish. Oh, I think I'm on the... I think I need to go up here. What's this? Oh, crepes. Ooh, chocolate banana crepes. Sounds so good. And the strawberry whip one sounds so good, too. Oh, yummy. I'm gonna get the filthiest pizza. Go for it. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. I like the little backpack. <laughs> Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. See, this person gets it. <laughs> Look, we got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not help her out walk away. Huh, you want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you to you next. We, get, we nearly got this one in the bag. We're, te we're a team star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? No. Who the fuck are you? You guys are kind of cringe. <laughs> Hey, we can't just let someone something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line. So we've got no real choice but a battle, yeah? That's true, you keep watch uh, on that little four eyes over there. Wow, fucking rude. Uh, I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. You 
are challenged by the Team Star Grunt. Send out Shrudel. Let's go, Goober! Let's fuck shit up! Oh, fuck my defense spell. And it's burnt! Get charred, bitch! Rocket out there, fucking chopping Snoke the uh, Slowpoke Tails. And this fucking little student over here is fucking talking about Team Star. Ooh, we gotta learn Bite. Bite you, bite you, bite you. Uh. They're literally the Mafia. <laughs> They're both of his capitalism. I know, seriously. I miss, like, how fucking dark that shit was. It's so good. They own the game corner and shit. Like, they were legit villains. These are just kids. I'm by two, by two, by two. <laughs> Pero bueno, what are you, what do you think you're doing? Ah, oh, it's a student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Chris. You don't have to go finding Rano's to battle. You have all the battles you ever need with me. Damn. You're possessive. Shit. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read it that way wrong. Sorry. The Alaska Tuba Skull, and their whole thing was that they suck. <laughs> oh my god. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing ultra rare gift to you. Ooh, you obtained the Terra Orb. We must ponder this orb. Team Skull rules. Absolutely. Anything with a skull has gotta be fucking cool, right? I'm pretty sure your Flakoko will be a fire type. Normally you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these tarot orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with this tarot Pokemon? Is that it? <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Got a problem? You wanna battle me instead? I got plenty of crystals. <laughs> fucking, we talking about a uh, crack over here, fucking Breaking Bad style. Hamish. You may procure one crystal. Uh, hold on. My cat is hitting it against the mic. Rock purposes. Um, I have rose. I have, like, clear quartz. Um, I have some grounding ones. Bye, cat. You are challenged by Team Star Grunt. Let's go, Goober. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon. The people call this terrestalizing. You can terrestalize your Pokemon by selecting the terrestalize button in battle. After terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you won't be able to terrestrialize a Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon's time. So use this strategy wisely to seize victory in battles. Okay. Alright. 
of skill. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, that's so cool! He's got like a little chandelier on top of him! I love him! This music's pretty good. <laughs> Your Pokemon burns so bright. Oh yeah. I like her in the background, just like cheerleading. <laughs> That's funny. Nice, Chris, you pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. I don't like that this word almost has sterilize in it. <laughs> hey, gotta sterilize your pets. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is differently, di totally different from its usual type. Hamish? Uh, the difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta change, go, gotta charge your Terra orb. You gotta charge your orbs. You gotta charge those crystals. Uh, gotta charge those Geo crystals uh, at a Pokemon Center. Every use by healing up your team, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! <laughs> uh, so yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. Charge your Geo crystal groups. <laughs> Yeah, it is cool that they change the music style of this. <laughs> Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. We brain cell far too often, for real. Um, excuse me? I, uh, just, well, thanks. Nice. So, yeah, see you around. We gotta learn our chakras at the Pokemon Center! <laughs> I'll look at you, Chris. Are to become a big hero around campus. That's right. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. The Eevee bag, though. Love the fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. Fuck. Can you imagine having to fucking go up there every goddamn day for school? Yeah, no, thank you. No time to explain. We need to light our chakras now. <laughs> Rub up those crystals, boys. Fucking leg day every day with this fucking staircase. Damn. Oh yeah? Oh, that would suck. <laughs> oh, by stairs, I mean ramps, but still. Here we are, Chris. Welcome to Uva Academy. It's, this here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off the sides lead to different parts of the school. Uh, it's totally big enough to let loose, and battle in here, but for some reason they've been Pokemon battling in the main entrance. <laughs> Master Chris, Miss Nimona. How do you find your first school commute? Uh, it was a blast. We had a blast. It was tough. I imagine Miss Nimona's high spirits helped with that. She is a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less, for, any less from our champion ranked student council president. Well, I know now. I know how to look after my friends, right, Chris? Oh, but speaking of which, we saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Where? It was down the stairs from the front gates. They were hassling this kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Chris flexed on them and ran off. Exactly. That is pretty fucked up, considering what if, like, somebody's disabled and they cannot walk up those steps. It's pretty fucked up, if you ask me. 
Yeah, I just flexed and they fucked off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to help a fellow student, Master Chris, but you may you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. Fuck you, Clavel. What the fuck kind of name is that? I'll show you restraint over here, fucking restraint on your fucking ass. Um and Miss Namona, do you remember that the school staffers resolved any such troubles? Oh right, yes, yeah, sir director, this is why I hate school. I fucking walk right out. Fucking hate these old ass fucking teachers thinking they fucking know better. Good morning, Mr. Doc. Hello, hello everyone. We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Ooh, me. I want to hear the news. I suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Yo, is that not Otacon? <laughs> I like the dude's glasses. Sure, I'm Chris. Right, I'm Chris. I like his fucking slippers. His glasses are way too round. <laughs> Dude, if I was a teacher, I would be uh, going to work in fucking Crocs every day. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go to bed. Oh, night night! Get some rest, King. I like battling with Pokemon. I like playing with my Pokemon. I like everything about Pokemon. Really awesome. I'm totally the same. There's some fucking frames per second. I was like, is this like a stylized thing? Or do they just are all fucking laggy as shit? Me, I have a question. Crocs are valid. Thank you, Vicky. Thank you so much. Crocs are fucking valid. They're great shoes. See, we have fucking based people here in the chat. Fucking croc haters, get the fuck out. Croc lovers are fucking based and valid. They are so fucking comfy. Y'all went- you went all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Chris. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Dude, I just went where my mom fucking took me. You think I have any choice? I'm like 12. I want to complete the Pokedex. I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Jesus Christ, Nimona, calm yourself. Fucking hell, this bitch thirsty. I love being part of the Croc community. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. We are a... My dream is having some chicky nuggy. <laughs> well, this is a croc loving community. I never had one or even wore one, but they are very valid. I'm gonna make a fucking emote that's just a pair of crocs. <laughs> Mark my words, I will have that emote. And we're gonna fucking spread it in everybody's fucking channel. I will spread the word of crocs. Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself, Chris. I'm Mr. Jacques. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Fucking science teacher is always looking weird. Damn, that was laggy as hell. All right, you ragamuffins. Who fucking talks like that? I would not fucking say ragamuffins. Okay. Um, math class is available to take, a battle is class is available to take. You got a problem, babe? You got a problem? This is a croc-loving community. 
I am going to make a fucking emote that specifically crocs, and I'm going to spam it in your fucking chat. What are you going to do about that, huh? What are you going to do about it? Uh, what class is in session? Uh. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm going to fucking do it. Oh my god, leave me the fuck alone. Oh yeah, cafeteria. Let's go get some food. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. There was an ad. <laughs> Cockamire. <laughs> Harvin. What's up, bitch? Oh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little note all buddy. Gotta mine like a seal trap, eh? I'm your little buddy now? No need to tell me your name. Chris, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with president of the student council. Crockmeyer. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today. This dude looks like he's in his fucking thirties. Arvin, did you fucking flunk a couple times? You gotta help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream first? Hehe, <laughs> caught your interest, have I? You wanna hear all about my dream? You can be in 30 and still be in high school. That would be, that would be my fucking nightmare. I would die. I'm sorry, I did not mean to fucking upset anybody. Flunking is totally valid. I just meant like, I would not be able to survive being 30 in the fucking high school. I'm all about the picnic life, the great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about Herba Mystica things. No, I never flunked. Get fucked if you did. <laughs> this school has people of all ages. Oh, sick. Nice. That's perfectly valid, Vicky. It is okay to flunk. I flunked my college classes. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. I really want to get those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. I don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went calling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Ugh, okay. Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register places where it seems there might be titans in your map app for you. Oh, his phone's cute. He's got little flowers on his phone. Is that, I think that's flowers, right? Give the idea some serious thought, please. He's 100% bottom. He's kind of cute, not gonna lie. I like how he's all like, I need you to help me out. Right. 
And then he runs off, all flustered. It's so adorable. This is Chris, correct? Who the fuck are you? I hacked your phone, your smartphone, so I can talk to you. Hope you don't mind. I'm sorry, who are you? Is this Penny? Cassiopeia? But never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If the description is correct, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Chris, you know about Team Star, right? Uh... No? Nice try, but I know for a fact that you've already crossed paths with them. I'm in your phone. My phone got hacked? Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. The cause, they cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. I don't fucking know who you are! No need to reply this second. We can discuss the details some other time. You too, bitch! Till then, I'll leave it to you. Bye. I just got my phone straight up hacked, and I'm supposed to fucking help you? Do you have any games on it? <laughs> do, do you have any games? <laughs> ah, Master Chris. What is it, you fuckface? Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls when this- God, I hate this fucker! So fucking much! Why don't you go fucking die already? Jesus Christ! Don't fucking tell me what to do! Of course, sir, I'll be more careful. How about I tell you to fuck off? Um... You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go, then, young man. Fucking, why don't you shove your fucking balls somewhere else, dude? Get the fuck out of my face. Team Star, you say? I hate him. I hate him so much. I fucking hate school. I fucking hate people telling me what to do. Yeah, this first was like clipping through, that's funny. Ooh, what's this? That's it? That's all? No hit of lore? Nothing? Lame. What's this? Where do you want to go? Staff room. Dude, look at that fucking hair! Holy shit! Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun. I'm glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, hey, Chris. Who was that? She looked awesome. Good eye. She sure is. That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me. Remember in Homeroom when I asked what your dream is? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You can reach out to the Pokemon rank, like me. Hmm. Sure. Oh, wow, hang on. So I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. <laughs> The trainers who reach Pokemon rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. The moves keep crowds absolutely on edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You gotta take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect your gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that left is a special test, the Pokemon Champion Assessment. And once you pass that, then you, at long last, you'll become a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. 
I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. You need to touch of grass to be the champion. <laughs> that should happen soon. Our, one last, uh, our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great. You get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was a treasure I found. Maybe? Like, there's, there's no grass right now. It's covered in snow. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to go for it. Ooh, ghost gym. Oh. Victory road. I've seen what no grass does to a motherfucker. <laughs> well, go get a shovel. Bitch, I am not shoveling my entire fucking yard to go touch some grass. If you all want to fucking have me touch grass so bad, you can fucking shovel it for me. Alright, later. Ding ding, ding dong, dong ding. Calling Master Chris to the director's office, please. What the fuck? Once again, Master Chris to the director's office, please. Fucking hell. So colorful. A lot of the teachers here are really colorful characters. I need to try harder to stand out. <laughs> Aw, dude. That's so sweet. You don't have to, though. Because I love dying in really hilarious hills. <laughs> The fuck do you want, my dude? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm already called into the fucking principal's office. First fucking day of the school. Have you been enjoying your time here? No, I haven't. Because you fucking won't leave me alone. No. <laughs> I see. Do you remember? I am always here to lend you near if you find yourself struggling anyway. <laughs> now you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed early in the cafeteria. Why does that sound so hot? Oh my god. <laughs> Y'all are too horny. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Oh my god. Ah, no. I'm afraid they aren't actually here in this room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. To horny jail with y'all. <laughs> For some reason, I thought the fucking intro of that song was gonna be Megalovania. I was just waiting for it. My name is Professor Turo. I carry out Pokemon research with the great creator of- Within the greater- Great creator of Paldea. With the no lack and for real for real haircut. <laughs> The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy as well as a, as well as a splendid researcher. We really need more random Megalovania in our lives, Professor Daddy. <laughs> Dude, look at that chiseled fucking like face. Holy shit. I am ID number 805C393. You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Meridian. Meridon, is that correct? No. <laughs> Thank you, Toby Fox, Undertale, Delta Rune. We really don't deserve your art. He literally has a Giga Chad jawline. He does! He fucking does! He literally fucking does. It's so weird. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> the Giga Chad jawline. <laughs> I do not mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. Assistance? 
Even this fucker is interested. Get in your fucking Pokeball, you piece of shit. Who told you to get out? I guess. Uh, Maridon was once in my care, you see. Its Pokeball was originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I am no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is what I will ask of you. Will you continue looking after Maridon on my behalf? Yes. I do appreciate your agreement. <laughs> to all the boys playing this, I hope the professor doesn't wake anything in y'all. He is not my type. That freaking chin. <laughs> Welcome in. <laughs> the fucking Giga Chad jawline. <laughs> I still can't get over that. Well, it seems the professor is asking quite the favor of you, but of course the academy is always here to support you in any way that we are able. I do hope you will continue to enjoy your school life together with that Maridon. Okay, dude. Can I go now, please? Please. I do not want to be here. Hello, excuse me. The virgin instructor versus the Chad professor. <laughs> oh, you're still here, Chris. Oof, getting called to the director's office? How'd you, how'd you land in this much trouble already? Fuck off, bitch! God, I'm tired of this. I'm somehow Vicky is both. Shake my head. Mr. Jacques wanted me to show you the way to your room in the school dorms. Your very own private room. Chris, let's go check it out. Your dorm room. The virgin 30 year old student versus the Chad protagonist. <laughs> I'm what now? <laughs> From today on, this is your room, Chris. Actually, it's as new to me as it is to you. Never been in here before. Maybe check out your new bed. Looks comfy. And you must be pretty worn from all this stuff happening on your very first day, huh? A quick rest on a bed is all you need to get yourself and your Pokemon healthy again. The only thing I'm both is that I'll, I'll fuck your mom and your dad. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> At the same time! Oh, shit! Go fuck your boyfriend. Oh, fuck! We are getting- this is like a fucking WWE match over here. Fucking chairs are being fucking thrown left and right. It's your own personal kitchen. Imagine fucking your boyfriend. God, could not be me. And you're right, <laughs> Vicky, there are only two sexes. The one you'll have with my mom and the one you'll have with my dad. <laughs> this leads to the bathroom. Make sure to keep it nice and oh, nice and clean. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to sleep. Here we go. Ready to call it a day? You'll need rest if you want to be prepared for your new school life. No. Ooh, the days quickly fly by after you start your new life at Uva Academy. And then at last, the day arrives for your true adventure to begin. I'm glad this was like fucking points fish <laughs> oh fucking added him <laughs> called out called out in this fucking chat y'all are banned i'm banning every single one of you none of you are allowed to watch my streams anymore uh attention all students today marks the beginning of an important new assignment please assemble in the schoolyard where i will explain in more detail I know how to say hi to people. I'm normal. <laughs> None of y'all are fucking normal. If you're in my chat, you're not normal. Only gay motherfuckers are allowed in this fucking chat. Uh, this is a fucking rainbow chat. 
I've been waiting forever for this. Come on, let's go to the schoolyard. <laughs> yeah, it sucked my cock. I'm legit now because I'm about to do something hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Where do you want to go? Schoolyard, obviously. Pleading insanity in court. I follow Chris. <laughs> Where's my little bottom bitch boy? Uh, well then, it's time th that I explain your independent study assignment. As usual, this theme will be a treasure hunt. I'll ask each of you to set out and travel the world and search for your own treasure. Explore Paldea's abundant nature. Soak in its rich culture. Discover the Pokemon that live here. And get to know the people too. Where will we travel? Where will you meet? And what will you achieve? Of course, your Pokemon partners will be there to help you. You will journey together. Learn new things. Though he is. Share each other's thoughts and feelings. Oh, look at my eyes. They're sparkly. I look forward to welcoming you all back after your independent study. When you will return to us as young or fine young trainers. Let the treasure hunt begin onward. That. Oh my yeah, it's time for the great outdoors. Come on, Cyclazar, we're riding out. Oh shit. Take care, everyone, and remember the great crater of Paldea is extremely or exceedingly dangerous. Entering it is a violation of school rules. That's a gecko. I'm gonna fucking enter it just because he told me so I could get kicked out of this fucking school. Smell you later, bitch. Okay, I don't care. Do you want to see me do a backflip? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> later. <laughs> to do that, don't I? You're gonna be banned forever. Chris, Chris! What's up, bitch? The treasure hunt is finally starting. What do they mean by treasure? What are we supposed to do? <laughs> I was just getting some water. Oh, nothing. Uh, they redeemed a timeout. Uh, yeah, fair question, since it's the first time. Come on, let's walk it. Oh, fuck, I, I clicked the button too fast. The treasure hunt is a huge part of the Uva Academy school year. The point isn't to get us all looking for some actual hidden treasure, necessarily. We're more than... We're more just making our adventures to see what experiences Paldea has got to offer. They will be missed. You could try to beat Pokemon gyms. You could help out people in need. You could hunt for real capital T treasure if you wanted, even. There's stuff we'd never learn sitting in a classroom, you know? This is our chance to learn it. Sometimes I can hear their voice. <laughs> Plus, there's so many chances to battle, which is obviously perfect for me. And bye. Bye. <laughs> you and me for sure got a battle if we run into each other out there. Hope, hope you're ready. <laughs> hey, welcome in! How are you all doing today? 
<laughs> You're back. We missed you. Uh, all right. Oh yeah, battling can wait. I meant to tell you, did you know your phone's app lets you set yourself destinations? Uh, you could try setting one of the gyms as your destination. That gets you on your way easy. My final message changed the world. <laughs> oh, uh, Arvin. I'm doing good, just playing some Pokemon. Chilling out. Uh, insider advantage. Sheesh, you make it sound like we're cheating or something. All I did is suggest that he check out the gyms. It's up to Chris whether he goes. Chris is gonna have his hands full searching for Titan Pokemon with me. He doesn't have time to waste on something like chasing after the champion rat. Okay, alright, everybody, chill. You guys, don't fight over me. There's plenty of Chris to go around. Me and him are gonna be too busy visiting the lairs of Titans and nabbing their Herba Mystica. And ate shit super hard, damn. <laughs> Yo, do you get a say in this little friend drama or a right? Seriously. In serio? Don't go filling his head with weird stories. Jesus, these two sound like Discord balls. <laughs> hey, all, all I did was invite him along. It's left to Chris whether he goes, right? Hmm? Chris, your phone's ringing. Hey, Chris. Cassiopeia here. It's about Operation Starfall. Remember what I told you before? Team Star made up, is made up of five individual squads, and each one's got their own base. I need you to go to each base, all five of them, and beat the squad boss there. Damn, what am I? Fucking Snake? Got a fucking secret mission over here? Fucking some espionage and shit? Oh, okay, just remember the names of their crews and you'll figure it out. Still no worry with your skills. I'm sure you're more than up to the task. I said I don't want anything to do with this shit. It's not Chris's fault that he's like a Neanderthal. <laughs> no, now Hacker Man, I'm in the middle of some Google Touch. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Vicky. Oh my god. I'm fucking dead. I am dead. You've killed me. I am fucking dead. Goodbye. Talking about the Google Doc is going in the Google Doc. <laughs> no! Damn, when bitches are so obsessed about you, they write fucking 60 pages worth of fucking bullshit. I am the infamous, infamous fucking horror element streamer in the chat, as written in per uh, page 69 of a Google Doc. <laughs> Get fucking cancelled. They can't cancel this shit. Don't worry about it. Um... Yeah, it was some fucking drama, dude. It's- it's fucking dumb. Dumb as shit. Just, uh, bitches don't know how to get off my dick. Uh, the Team Star bases have been added to your map. App. Map app. Starfall Street. Good luck with those bosses. I'll hook you up with some nice rewards every time you beat one. Wait one second. Who are you supposed to be in Team Star? Those punks are a serious hazard. It's cringe shit. We meme it. They're not Chris's problem. That's right, because there's more problem things, more important things to do, like searching out awesome ingredients with me. I thought it was up to Chris to decide whether he goes or not. Wasn't that what you said, Nimona and Arvin? How do you know my? I'm looking forward to seeing what you can pull off. What you can pull off, Chris. Bye. My canceled king. Thank you. Thank you, babe. Um. Honestly, I don't even have it anymore. This was like some months ago. Um, it was a little more than cringe to me, but I meme it regardless because fuck them. So it was like uh, redeemed nice. It, it, I'll tell you the TLDR version of it. Essentially, uh, we had a big friend group. Friend group got mad for um, some reasons between me and uh, Meow and, and Vicky, and uh, they wrote some awful shit about us and disturbed our lives for a while um, but we didn't let it to get to us and um, so there's a Google Doc out there with talking shit about us and whatever but they're just salty 
We're salty that they're not as cool as us. Chris, I'm glad you're making plenty of friends here, but try not to get dragged in anything dangerous. Dangerous, my middle name. Anyway, no more weird vibes. We've got a bit, big adventure to start. Bitch, do you know anything about me? Weird is my middle name. Here, I'll send you a pic of what the gym buildings look like. I know we've been running our mouths, but it's your call what you do, Chris. Go where you want and do what it is you really want to do the most. A treasure of our very own. <laughs> For me, that's got to be my, er, my big dream of tracking down the Urba Mystica. That is. <laughs> Nimona. <laughs> Once we get those herbs, I'll make you the absolute best sandwich you've ever had. Oh my god. What a sweetheart. He's like, I'll make you this great sandwich if you help me. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I have no idea. I keep thinking pneumonia. Nimona? Nimona? I, I don't know. Nothing really pops out to me. Uh, press the plus button to jump down on Marida and you can, you'll find you can get around more quickly. It's right on time. All right. Hamish, please. This fucking cat is so fucking needy right now. Holy fuck. I swear to god, if he presses that power button, I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> so that's what we're calling a dick now? Damn. I'm behind. The right on. Whoa, it transformed. Now it really looks like some weird psych bazaar. As long as you've got my right on, you can go pretty much anywhere. Paldea's your cloister. Hmm, yeah, maybe? But since Chris is actually headed to take out some gyms, I'd say go for the west gate. I'll head to a gym. See you around, Chris. Okay. See ya. Alright, treasure hunt has finally begun. The special event is held by Academy to encourage students to set on their own and learn for themselves. You're free to decide where you want to go as you search for a treasure on your own. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'm actually going to call it good here. This is a great place to stop now that we've gone through the whole beginning part, uh, portion, beginning part. We look at me do donuts. Oh, fuck. Well, I didn't mean to tag it as in the RPG. That was from another game. Whatever. Um, look at me. This is fucking fun. Uh... I do a lot of indie RPG games, that's why I tagged it. Uh, if you go through my VODs and stuff, that's a lot of it's indie RPG. Um, usually I don't stream Pokemon. Now this is when it gets fun. Yeah, I will definitely stream this, really. <laughs> um, so next week I will do Earthbound if you get off and spin. Trust me. Okay. How do I, uh, do this? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, next week I'll be streaming some Earthbound. The week after we'll do some more Pokemon. Um, or whatever I feel like. Whatever. It's my stream. I do whatever the fuck I want. Above us only to God in the Front Wheel by Chris. <laughs> it's very true. Uh, Fish here was the one who encouraged me to pick up Pokemon and play it. So I did. So I have a soft spot for him. But I will call it good here. Thanks to everybody who joined. Appreciate uh, Andre for coming in and joining us. It's so awesome that you're here to hang out. I do have a Discord if you're interested in any of that. Y'all bitches gay. We very gay. Absolutely. Um, and uh, if you want, you can always uh, catch any of the other lovely streamers like Meow or Blue Sapphic. Um, 
but thank you so much for hanging out and I will be raiding somebody not sure who yet I'm gonna get this fucking cat off my desk for the fifth fucking time Hamish you fucker um so let's switch this over here and see who's available don't do any drugs without me <laughs> we appreciate you thank you so much thanks everybody who joined today really 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 appreciate everybody and, um, you know, it's always funner when everybody's talking and having fun, so, yeah. Um, fucking cat. Oh my god, this little needy fucker. No, th th thank you for hanging out. Yes, there is some raid emotes, if you got them. Um, and let's see who's available. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and raid, um, Sparrow. They're, they're streaming. She's streaming. Let's go ahead and raid her. Um, let me just double check everything, make sure that they're not gonna, they're not ending their stream. <laughs> oh, she's doing some VR shit, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Alright, so sending the love over to Sparrow, thanks everybody who joined and hung out and i'll see y'all again next week or tomorrow if y'all want to see breaking bad in discord have a good night y'all